Hi guys, thank you very much for tuning in on this episode of Slick Hair TV. Today I'll be talking about hair tools. So first off, we have a lot of questions from you guys asking why should I even use a pre-styling tool or can I use my fingers instead? You can do whatever you want, but if you want your hair to be perfect, then make sure to use a proper pre-styling tool. So, today I'll be talking about two different hair tools. It's a skeleton brush and it's a nine row brush, both from our own brand by Lane. It's carbon fiber, anti-static, and also it's rubber coated, so it has a very nice and soft, smooth feel to it. First we have the skeleton brush, it has long bristles and short bristles. The perks here are that the long one you can grab the longer hair straws and the small bristles it's very good for the side and the shorter hair lengths. This can also be not to compare it with a round brush but it's a brush where it's all round with bristles sticking out. This one I like because it's you know, very easy to control. You can grab the hair straws, apply as much heat and air as you want, and then your hair will move in the direction that you actually are brushing it to. If you're only using your finger comb, then you will have your hair straws messed around and it's very difficult and you might eventually burn your fingers. So uh, don't do that if you're applying a lot of heat when you pre-style. No pre-styling without a pre-styling spray. This is our Sidekick spray. It applies a lot of volume and heat protection and hold. Which is very good because then you have a good control over your hair foundation before adding the actual hair styling product. The perks of using a pre-styling spray is that you are actually saving some wax because you already have a good amount of hold and volume and the wax it's only there to actually hold it all together and it's collecting the hair straws so you don't have flyaways and all that. Now for the second hair tool of today, it's the nine row brush. So you have nine rows of bristles here. And this one, I don't use it that much but it's actually a very good tool because you can really grab your hair and drag it and apply heat while you are dragging it backwards, like that. Now the big question is, should you go out and buy some pre-styling tools? For me, I wish that I back when I was 15 years old, I wish I had that big brother telling me, Emil, make sure to get those pre-styling tools because then you would definitely rock a pretty much more awesome hairstyle. Or at least you can level up your hairstyle, Emil. <laughs> so um, I didn't have that piece of advice, but I got it uh, later on. It's a part of your own hairstyling journal whether you want to go with a pre-styling tool or if you want to do whatever you want with your hair, it's up to you. What I'm here for is to give you a piece of advice and also some inspiration. You can take it or you can leave it. Anyway, I hope you liked the episode and also we would like you guys to interact with us. Comment down below and let us know if you're using a pre-styling tool or what kind of pre-styling tool you're using. We're here to help you, so I hope this was a helpful video and we would like to give away free hairstyling tools. So uh, the way you can get it, give the video some love, likes of course, and leave a comment down below. And we'll pick a winner of the hairstyling tools in the next video that will be about styling tools. <laughs> See you guys.